Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habati fillah I wanted to remind myself and my brothers and sisters the importance of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our gatherings and that even when we have discussions and posts uh, on social media like Facebook and WhatsApp to try to have some remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that in and of itself should keep us away from sinful behavior because when you look at some of the extensive conversations and so forth you you have on a lot of social media applications like Facebook and so on and so forth you have so many people commenting about some of the most sinful activities you have people apostating from Islam you have people bragging about their sins and showing their sins you have people exposing other people's sins and so it shows us that it's very important to bring everything back and put it in perspective and remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and give salutations upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and especially in the physical gatherings because these ahadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam of course were in the context of the uh, physical gatherings when you have sittings and you have uh, you know, meetings and uh, various uh, types of gatherings of people that, you know, there should be, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name should be mentioned. And especially in gathers, gatherings of Muslims, there should be to invoke the blessings, uh, you know, to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, invoke the, the blessings and salutations upon the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam. Listen to this hadith or a couple of ahadith uh, of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. An Abi Hurairah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qala qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ma min qawmin yuqumuna min majlis la yathkuruna Allah ta'ala fi illa qamu an mithli jayfati himar wa kana lahum Hasratin. Ruahu Abu Dawood bi isnad sahih. This is a hadith in uh, Sahih uh, Abu Dawood collected there. And the hadith of Abi Huraira <coughs> radiallahu ta'ala an, who said that, who reported the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, those people who leave a gathering in which they have not remembered a law will conclude it as if it has foul odors similar to that of a rotten carcass of a donkey and it will be a cause of grief for them so this hadith shows us that this is a negative trait a trait unbefitting of the believer and who wants to be in a gathering uh, where the stench is that of a dead rotting carcass of a donkey so it shows us that this is mathmoon that this is something negative and a sinful uh type gathering when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name is not mentioned you know saying opening it up with bismillah or saying you know some sort of praise uh of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the gathering and uh remembering the prophet sallallahu alayhi by giving salutations and also in another hadith in uh, an Abi Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu an Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qad ma jalasa qawmin majlisan lam yadhkuru Allah ta'ala fi wa lam yusallu ala nabiyihim fi illa kana alayhim tirra fa in sha 'adhabuhum wa in sha ghafara lahum ruwahu tirmidhi wa huwa uh, hadith Hassan. This is a hadith in, in uh, Tirmidhi, which is a Hassan uh, uh, hadith. It also was a hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala in which he said that uh, he reported, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whenever a group of people sit in a gathering in which they do not remember Allah, the exalted, nor supplicate to elevate the rank of their Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, such a gathering will be a cause of grief to them. If Allah wills, he will punish them. And if he wills, he will forgive them. So we learn many benefits uh, of these ahadith 
And some of the benefits are that a servant, uh, which is you and I, a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that if we sit in a gathering, that we must remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala somewhere in that gathering. And we must give salutations upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in that gathering. Also, we learn from this hadith that by remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that this purifies the majlis, this purifies our gathering, this purifies our conference, this purifies our sitting, uh, and it will be a source of comforting the heart uh, through remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And by spending our time remembering the people, this can actually be a poison for our hearts, especially when we remember the people in a negative way. So think about the, get the difference between the gathering in which there's immense backbiting and slander and cursing and exposing people's sins compared to the gathering where there's the remembrance of Allah, where the, there, there is purity of the gathering. Uh, some fawaid from the Salaf, Qali Imam Hassan al-Basri, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said uh, regarding uh, in Surah al-Baqarah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and from what we have provided them, they uh, they spend. So he mentions, he says, So Imam Hassan al-Basri, he said, the greatest way, the greatest type of spending is the spending of knowledge. You know, dispensing knowledge, giving knowledge, sharing knowledge. He said also, Na'mata Azima or Na'mat Na'matu Azima wa Na'matu Hidaya Na'matu Hidaya Al Kalima Min Khair Yesma'uha Rajul Fiyahdiha Ila Akhluhu Muslim. So, in another ethar of Imam Hassan al-Basri, he said one of the greatest, uh, a great blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the blessing of guidance, the blessing of hidayah. And this comes from a kalimat al-khayr, through a righteous statement. So that's why we're talking about this, the relevance of this is to have righteous statements in your gatherings by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by advising one another, by sharing Islamic knowledge, by reminding each other to do good deeds and talking about good things. And he said, Kalimat min al-khair yasma'uha rajul fiyahdiha ila akhluhu muslim. So uh, when you have a, uh, a good word, a good reminder, a good uh, something good that you share, and then another man listens to it and he is guided by it and he shares it with uh, another Muslim brother that this is um, one of the greatest uh, blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is a type of rizq, this is a type of provision and a type of wealth and a type of spending for your, for your hereafter. And in an athar of Abi Darda radiallahu ta'ala an, he said, "Ma tasaddak abd bi sadaqatin afdal min mu'idha yu'ti biha ikhwanin lahu mu'minin fa yatafarquna wa kad naf'ahum Allah biha." Uh, Abi Darda radiyallahu ta'ala he said, "There isn't a sadaqa, a type of sadaqa, you know, a type of charity that the servant gives, which is better than sharing, uh, you know, than preaching, you know, preaching and sharing uh, something, some sort of dawah, some, some sort of uh, beautiful reminders for your brothers, uh, a reminder of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he gives his brothers from the Muslims, from the believers, and then they separate, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings guidance from it. Meaning that if you share something of good, you remind one another of khair, and then you separate. So this is a good gathering, a gathering of uh, majalis al-khair. 
This is a good sitting. And the people are reminded of something. They're reminded of Allah. They're reminded of the Sunnah and the Messenger of Allah. And they're reminded of something in their practice. Something softens their heart to do good deeds. They're reminded to give sadaqah to their brothers and sisters. They're reminded to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the benefit of their brothers and sisters. This is all types of good that are the athar, that are the, the result of reminding one another. And the dhikr, tanfa al-mu'mineen, reminding one another of good, this benefits the believer. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to purify our gatherings and bless them to be gatherings of good. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.